What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 44 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we're just being asked to select or click, I guess I'll be highlighting for this one, each situation that can be modeled with a linear function. We have five choices here. Any of them could be true or not true, so it's not like this is multiple choice. So the big skill that we need to know is how to look at word problems and see if they represent linear or exponential functions. And there's another question a lot like this one. Uh, that I went ahead and did, and I'll use the same framework here. For a linear function, how much we're changing by is constant. So as an example, this first one, a taxi charges an initial fee of $2 and $1.50 for each additional mile. If I keep adding miles, the problem says that I'm adding $1.50 for each additional mile. So that tells me that this, or that this first situation is good. This one can be represented by a linear function because we can see that as our miles change, our price is going to change constantly by $1.50 for each mile. Now here, the second example, the population in a, in a town decreases by 15% each year. I'm going to take a look at this 15%, and that's going to set off a red flag for me because if I have 15%, that's going to be 15% of something, and 15% is multiplying, and whenever we multiply by some first number, and we multiply by the result and multiply the result again, which we would be because it says it decreases by 15% each year. So if it starts at 100, next there will be 85, next there will be, uh, let's see, 85, 12.75, next there's going to be about 72, and so on and so on. We're not decreasing by the same amount each year. Even though it's still 15%, it's not the same amount. So what that tells me is that this example about the population in a town is not linear. So here, an airplane flying at an altitude of 33,000 feet descends at a rate of, of people, 20 feet per minute. Now, as I look at this, I can see that change is constant because as the minutes pass, every minute we're descending by 20 feet. So this one works. This one is linear. Fourth possible choice, a pizza restaurant charges $5.50 per pizza and 50 cents for each additional topping. First off, I hope there's no restaurant like that anywhere near where I live because I would eat there every day. Um, but second, um, if we see 50 cents for each additional topping, that means that as my toppings change, my price is changing constantly by 50 cents for each topping. So that one's linear as well. Finally, a cell doubles in size every two hours. So let's go ahead and actually play this out. If it's, let's say it's one millimeter, then it would be two millimeters, then four, then eight, then 16, and so on. So even though it's doubling, even though we can find a pattern in the change, we don't consider how it's changing to be constant because we're not adding the same thing as we go from this point in time to this next point in time two hours from now to the next point in time two hours from that and so on it doesn't work the same way that it does with the $1.50 for each additional mile or the 20 feet per minute rate of descending in the plane or the 50 cents for each additional topping we're not adding the same thing every time even though we can find a pattern so that's not linear which means that we've gone through each of these choices and found that the taxi, the airplane, and the pizza all represent linear functions. The population and the cell do not.